I am Dr. Doug Tarrant, Chief Curator here at the Chicago Academy of Sciences Peggy Nota Bart Nietzsche Museum, and thank you for joining us for Flutter into Fall. Today we are going to be learning about monarchs and tagging monarchs to help scientists track their migration. So the butterfly we're working today is the monarch. And the monarch is one of the most familiar butterflies, not only in North America, but the, in the entire world. This is really an iconic butterfly species. When most people think of a butterfly, they think of the monarch. And monarchs are a very common species here in the Chicago area. We are right in the heart of their summer breeding range here. And so uh, between the end of May and right about now, every summer there are three to four generations of the monarch that uh, uh, are found here in Illinois. So one of the really things, cool things about monarchs is that they migrate every year. Uh, it's almost more like a bird than a butterfly in that respect. Monarchs uh, that emerge from their chrysalises anywhere between the middle of August and the middle of September are the migratory generation. And they are going to fly south from here in the Midwest all the way to the Transvolcanic Mountains in central Mexico, about 100 miles west of Mexico City. And this is an amazing journey. And one of the ways that scientists have learned that the same butterflies travel all the way from southern Canada, all the way from here in the Chicago area, down to central Mexico, is that they tag them. They put little stickers on the butterfly's wings, and butterflies that have been tagged here in Chicago or even further north, that same butterfly has been recovered down in Mexico. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be putting some of these tags on monarch butterfly wings and letting them go and continue on their migration to Mexico. So what we've got is some little tags. They're sticky tags that are about the size of a paper punch and a data sheet. And the tags all have a number on them. And the number is going to allow us to track where and when the monarch was tagged. And then, with luck, somebody somewhere along its migration route will recover it and find one of our tags. So the information that I have to fill out on the data sheet here is the number on the tag, today's date, um, whether the monarchs are wild caught or reared at home, whether the monarch is a male or a female, and where we are doing the tagging. So all of the monarchs that we are going to tag today, we've gotten here on the grounds at the Nature Museum, so they're all wild caught. And uh, one of the other things I'm going to have to say is whether the monarch is male or female. So. The first butterfly that we've got here is a male monarch, and the reason you can tell it's a male is that if you look right on the wing, right there, you'll see a little thickening in the vein, and the males have that and the females don't. Uh, and so we know that this one is a male, and so what I'm going to write down on my sheet here is the number on my first tag, today's date, I will fill in that it's a male that we are letting it go in Chicago. I am uh, taking the sticker and I'm just gently putting it into about the middle of the wing and then I just press gently with my thumb and forefinger to affix the sticker in place and now we have a tagged monarch. So now that he's tagged, we're going to send him back on his way to Mexico. So, bon voyage. Okay, so we've got another male monarch here, so I'm going to write down the uh, code on the next tag. And don't forget, you can write this down on your data sheet too. And today's date, and this one is a male. And uh, again, this is a wild caught monarch, and we're releasing it in Chicago. I get my tag, place the tag on the monarch's wing, press gently to affix the tag, and then we let him go. Okay, so this time we have a female monarch, 
And what you can see here is where the male had a little thickening in the vein, the female, the vein is just straight and there's no little spot sticking on the vein there. Okay, so uh, now we have our female. Uh, we're gonna again write the tag number down here and today's date. We will mark her as a female monarch. Again, wild caught and in Chicago. Tag onto the wing, press lightly, and say goodbye. So when people recover the tags, most of the tags get recovered in the wintertime when the monarchs are down in Mexico. And in addition to doing tag recovery, scientists in Mexico also every year take a survey of how big the monarch population roosting in the mountains is. And unfortunately, over the past couple of decades, the monarch populations in Mexico have been declining. And so people have been concerned about this from a conservation standpoint. And so it's important to know about the migration and about the wintering so that we can ensure the monarch continues to be a part of the landscape here in the Midwest every summer. So that's monarch tagging for today. Thank you for joining us at Flutter into Fall.